Hey guys, it's 2025 and Trainerize app has updated some amazing things inside the food logging part of their app. So I want to inform you guys of those changes and go through how to log your food in Trainerize as of 2025. So you can see that today is January 5th and at the top it says things to do today and right below that it says meals, one meal added. And you can see that the lines across those really indicate my goals for the day. So my calories are set to 1600, protein 160, carbs 120, fat 53. And then you can see over to the right hand side of those lines what I have remaining. So as long as those lines remain blue, I still have calories to go. If they turn yellow, that means I've met my goal. And then if they turn red, that means I've gone over my goal. So let's go through how to log your food. One of the things I like to do is just click on the lines themselves because this takes me right into the food logger. Okay, you can see that I've already added a lunch for the day, but we're gonna go ahead and play around in here just so you can see how to add some food and, and ways to um, really customize what you're doing. So what you're gonna see up at the top are two important uh, tabs. You have the diary tab and then you have the details tab. So right now we're on the diary tab. If you click on the details, you can see your lines again and basically where you're at. So it's nice to go back and forth between diary and details when you're putting in food for the day, especially if you're trying to reach your yellow lines and get that gold star for the day. Because if you get all four lines yellow, you do get a gold star. <laughs> all right, let's go back to diary. And at the top it says add a meal. So we're gonna click on that. You can see that it says today lunch right at the top of the screen. Now, it might be breakfast that I'm trying to log. So if that's the case, I'm gonna click on today lunch and click breakfast. Then I'll have to hit apply. And now here's the time where you're gonna either take a picture of your food or you're gonna skip the photo and go right into adding it in directly. Okay, so let's, let's go through that in a little bit. For now, I wanna add from the Discover tab, which is in the bottom right corner of the screen, because the Discover tab is where I keep all of your guys' recipes from your three-day detox and six weeks of meal plans book, or where I keep the fat burning and autoimmune meal plan recipes. So the Discover tab is very important if you're following along in those books, or if you just wanna find something, some sort of recipe from trainerizes thousands of recipes that they have. You'll see my recipes are at the top. They are not in alphabetical order. And that's okay, you're just going to type in at the search for meals, something that you might be looking for, like the detox green smoothie. There it is right there. Okay, now if you want to learn what's inside the smoothie and you wanna know more details on the macro splits, you're gonna click on the picture itself. And that's gonna take you inside the recipe. Okay, now we go outside of that. Okay, and now if you just wanna log it, you're gonna click the circle and then hit log. Okay, then we hit the X to go back. And now we have breakfast logged and lunch logged. Now you can tell that both of these are recipes that I've put in here. Now let's go ahead and add in something that is like a couple line items. So we're gonna hit add meal and I'm gonna go, let's say today dinner. I hit apply and then I'm going to hit skip photo or take a photo so if I take a photo it's going to take me right into my recents my favorites or my customs food items now some of these things that you've eaten recently that you've logged the most recent will show up at the top of the page you do have the option to do a barcode scanner which is really helpful so if you click the barcode scanner and you have a food item in front of you and so what we do here is we hold the barcode within the frame to scan the product. And then what it does is it automatically pulls that product up. Enter barcode manually if you cannot recognize or if it doesn't recognize it, that's fine too. And then we go back and we hit review and basically it tells us how many calories that food item is and then you log it. Okay, now let's go back in, add a meal. We're going to skip the photo Okay, so we've, we've done an item or two with the barcode scanner. This time we're going to either add in something from our recents or we're going to search what's in this meal. So at the top, it has a little magnifier glass and it says, what's in this meal? You're gonna type in here, let's say chicken. 
It's gonna give us a lot of options for chicken. Chicken breast is the third one down. If that's what you've eaten, you do need to be mindful of the serving sizes. So here it says one cup. I usually like to measure my chicken in terms of ounces, so I weigh it. So I'm gonna change that to ounces, and then I'm gonna click on the little one and type in that it was four ounces that I ate. And now you're gonna to have to hit the plus sign in order for that to be added to your food logger. Now we're not done logging food for this particular meal. So what we're gonna do next is just hit the X right next to the chicken up at the top. It's gonna to save your chicken breast in the background, but you won't be able to see it. So we're gonna click on that, exit that out. Now it looks like it all went away, but it's still there because you can see at the top 187 calories and one food item. Okay, so that's okay, it's still there. Now we're gonna type in like romaine, lettuce raw, one cup. Sure, let's do that. Now it's adding at the top, you can see two foods at 195 calories, so we're getting there. So now we're gonna exit out of that and add in our next thing. Let's say I go down in my recent items, and I know recently I had some sour cream, so it's right there at the top, two tablespoons. Good, I'm gonna just add that. Or maybe I only had one tablespoon, I can change that like by scrolling. And then if I had like an eighth of a tablespoon, I can do that. Okay, so there's ways to change out your serving sizes pretty easily. And then we're gonna hit the next item. Okay, so an av avocado. Okay, and let's say you used one avocado. And in this case, you are making your own but you only used a half an avocado to make it. So we're gonna hit the plus sign. And now we have four foods up at the top, 360 calories. Let's review what is in this meal. We have four items here. Remember, we're clicking on dinner. It's We're logging for dinner. Everything looks good, so I'm gonna hit the log button. And now I have my breakfast, lunch, and dinner listed here. All right, now this is a good time to go over to details and just kind of see how we're doing. Looks like I have a lot of calories left to eat, a lot of protein, carbs, and fats. So I need to go back to my diary and kind of look at what I still need to add in in order. So now one of the things I think is a great way for you guys to make sure you hit your macros every day is to log your food at the beginning of the day, not at the end of the day. Because if you're trying to play catch up at the end of the day, you oftentimes have too many calories, macros to make up for. But if you do it at the beginning of the day, you can say, oh, well, I need to um, add in my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It looks like this isn't enough food. So maybe I'm going to add a protein powder to my green detox smoothie. So let's do that right now. So we're going to click on the three little dots next to the green detox smoothie. And then we're going to add food. So click on add food. And then I'm going to type in well, actually I have it right here, but I have my AMP Tri-Release Protein Chocolate, one serving. I'm gonna say I'm gonna have that and hit save. Okay, so then that bumped up my protein by quite a bit. And then at lunchtime, my protein pancakes, that was not all I had. Uh, let's say I had some syrup with it, like, one tablespoon of maple syrup or probably two more likely <laughs> okay we're gonna add that hit save now let's take a look at our details again just see where we're at still have quite a few calories proteins carbs and fats to go so let's go back to our diary and let's look at our dinner a little bit further now I can add more ounces to the chicken breast so I'm just gonna click on chicken breast and it's gonna allow me to change the ounces directly right inside of it. Let's say, well, let's have six ounces of chicken breast. And it looks like I have quite a few carbs left to eat, so I could add a tortilla to this. So let's go ahead and click on the three dots. Click Add Food. And then I'm gonna type in Mission Carb Balance Soft Tortilla. I'm gonna have one of those click on the plus sign, hit save. It's gonna add it to your dinner. Now let's click on the details again. Oh, looks like I'm close to hitting my fat goal. I hit yellow there. I still have 31 grams remaining on carbs there, and then I have 35 grams remaining on the protein. 
and 397 remaining on the calories. So I'm gonna go back to diary and I'm actually gonna add a little bit more protein to my breakfast because right now I'm sitting only at 28 grams of protein. Gonna add a little bit more there. So I'm gonna click on that AMP Try Release Protein and make that two servings. Hit apply, click on details, and it looks like I've hit my calories and protein. Now let's address the carbs. So here, I'm gonna add a meal. And in this case, I'm gonna to go to today lunch and click snack and apply. I'm gonna skip the photo and I'm gonna add in an apple. So one medium apple, hit review. And of course that's mostly carbs, so we're gonna hit log. And then I'm gonna click details and looks like I've hit my daily nutrition goal for the day before I've even started the day. So this is what I want you guys to do is make sure you're, you're hitting those daily nutrition goals and that you're set up for success before you even eat. And then you can go about eating. Now I still have 185 calories remaining. I still have 10 grams of protein I could eat, six grams of carbs and seven grams of fat. So I could still have a whole nother snack if I wanted to. So if I go back to diary, I may add in more at my dinner because maybe I want to throw in maybe a couple tortilla chips or I want to throw in something else like cheese, something that sounds good with this uh, taco. All right, and so that's how we log our food there. Now I wanna go back to the three dots that are in the uh, box next to each of the pictures. Those three dots give us a lot of things that we can do for our food. So we can change the meal type. So if we say, no, that wasn't breakfast, that's actually lunch or dinner or a snack, we can do that there. We can go into copying it to another day we can save it to favorites, which is what I really like to do. Say, saving it to favorites makes it a one-click ad, and so I'll do that so we can see what that looks like later. Green detox smoothie with high protein. Okay, I'm going to save that. Let's go back to those three dots and look what else we have. We have the add food and add description or delete. So those, those are options there. Now let's swipe down. Now I want you to also know that you can delete by swiping to the left in any category if there's something that you want to totally remove. That makes that easy. And then again, if you click on the item, you can change the size, the amount, and it gives you all the micronutrients for that item. Again, going back to details, you can see all your macro and micro distributions as well and we're back to diary. Now let's go back to add meal again because I want you guys to see a few other features inside of this. So if we go to skip photo, so we get to the point where we have our recents, favorites, and customs. Now in our custom items, this is where I go if I want to add something that doesn't come up on the barcode scanner. So for instance, in Simple Mills Sweet Thins, I got at Costco recently and when I barcode scanned them, they didn't come up. So I had to go into custom and create them myself. So if you click on add custom, which is the bottom of the screen, you can see that you just put in the name and then you put in the serving size, like one cup, for example. And then you have to type in the calories, proteins, carbs, and fats. Those things are gonna be known to you because the packaging is sitting right in front of you. Or if it's a recipe online that you found and you want to go in and put the recipe in for a single serving, you can do that here. That's a way to make a custom food item. Another thing that I do to uh, mess with, around with getting a, a gold day is to make a custom food item for like a fast day so or a three-day detox day. So when you're working in my program, the three-day detox doesn't quite add up to the amount of macros that you're going to need to get a gold star day. So in order to get a gold star day on a three-day detox or a fast day, you need to go in and make your own three-day detox day with the exact amount of calories, carbs, proteins, and fats that your body needs in order for that to make out to a full um, yellow bars. Now I'll show you what I did. If I discard all this and get out of here, and get out of here. If I go back to yesterday, okay, I had a full, uh, I did a three-day detox, so I had just added one meal Okay, so if I click on what that one meal was, you can see it was a three-day detox. And it included all the calories, carbs, proteins, and fats 
because I wanna make sure I get the gold star. And the reason for the gold star is only if you're in a challenge. So see how we're in the Healthy for the Holidays challenge right now as I scroll down? In the Healthy for the Holidays challenge, you only get points for your nutrition if you have a gold star and you get 10 points in this case during this challenge. Those, those point values change every challenge, but so I wanna get a gold star and then I get those 10 points the next morning. So you wanna make sure that you're hitting gold and you get the little star next to your meals added. Okay, now let's go back in. Here's another way to get into your meals added section. You know, in the beginning I, t I just clicked on the, the lines. Now here is this blue plus sign. This blue plus sign, if you click on it, you can see that you can click on meal and then it brings you right into the meal planner. Now I wanna bring you to a whole nother thing to look at and that's the My Recipes section. This is new in 2025. So if you click on My Recipes, you can see that this is where you're gonna be able to go in and put in a whole bunch of your own recipes. So this is pretty fun. So if you click on More at the bottom, it says Create New Recipe or Manage My Recipe. So in this case, I'm gonna create a new recipe. And here's where you can take a photo of your recipe, name it, add the ingredients, and then start building your recipe. Now, this is an awesome new feature. I'm so excited for it because in the past, uh, clients have had to go off of like something from MyFitnessPal or they would have to go to a recipe builder online. Now the recipe builder is built right into Trainerize, which I love. And so once you've created a recipe, you can actually make it a favorite. So up at the top where it says log, you see the little heart, if I heart it, that means I just saved it as a favorite. And that becomes important later when we're trying to add food really quickly. So you see the favorites down at the bottom. If we click on that, you can see the green detox smoothie, protein pancakes. Those are the two most recent things I've added to favorites. And so then I can just log it directly from there. Okay, so if we go back to my food logger for today, See how lunch got added two things, two items within lunch? <laughs> Obviously, I just did that. Um, so I'm like, oops, I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna delete this one out. And now it's nothing, okay? So we, uh, we got rid of that. So now we're just left with our protein pancakes and maple syrup. Okay, so those are some of the ins and outs of food logging. And let's see, let's go back into our lines. Let's click on add meal. You can click on create a meal down at the bottom, far left. That's what we're doing right now. Recents are anything that you've worked on recently to add. I don't use that one as much, but I use favorites a lot, especially when I make like a special coffee in the morning with the same protein every day and the same creamer every day. That's something that you don't want to add four line items to, that you just want to have a single click and, and log. Okay, so that's what I love for that. And then the My Recipes, of course, for building your own recipes. And then the Discover tab for finding all of my recipes from the meal plans that you've been given through working with me and finding lots of different fun things that within the Trainerize library kind of some interesting things you may not think about, but like down here, these are not my recipes, but you can kind of see how they have some interesting things you can try. And the cool thing about these is if you click on them, you get the full recipe, how to make it and all those things. So if those sound really good to you, then you can attempt to make some fun recipes there. And it could be a little overwhelming as well, but uh, some people really like variety and sometimes we need that. So. Happy food logging, you guys. That is it, and I will see you later.